behalf of the Mayfield City Council, thank you for coming to our charity skate-a-thon. Please dig deep into your hearts and your pockets for whatever you can give. All right now, let's boogie! <laughs> Why don't you go over and skate with uh, Kevin and your mom? I'd like to get a picture of the whole family. Uh, just the family. Yeah, but someday, Mr. C. Someday. Don't threaten me. Ooh. Hi, Duffy. Ooh, I love your shirt. Me too. I've worn it three days in a row. <laughs> Little Kelly? Yeah, we kind of moved into the same locker. Oh, so what did you get on your history test? I got a C minus. Wow, that's great. <laughs> hmm. See you, Duffy. What did she want? Uh, we're in history together. She just wanted to know what I got on my test. And you fell for that? Everybody knows how you go on tests. Whoa, this is cool. You're jealous. Aw, oh, don't you trust me? Come on, you know you're my one and only doll face. I love it when you call me that. I know. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. What can I do to make it up to you? Oh, well, all this romantic talk did make me kind of hungry. I'll go get you a hot dog then. Well, that's okay, I'll pay. I know, I'm just getting gum. <laughs> Cleaver, I know what to do. Good girl. Oh, that beast! That monster! It's all over town. Poor baby. Oh. Good morning, Mrs. Cleaver. Oh, famous Amos and Mrs. Fields got married. They still couldn't match your chocolate chip cookies. Freddie, for once I agree with you. But if you're looking for Kip, he's at an interview with a recruiter from Princeton. I think I'll wait. Considering his SAT scores, he should be back before these cool off. <laughs> so, uh, you want to go to the soda shop? Nah, Kelly might show. So what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. I mean, what do you want to do? Beats me. What do you want to do? I know. Why don't you rub balloons on the carpet and stick them to your face? <laughs> Kip's not home. I know. So, uh, Duffman, how's the little woman? 
Freddie, lay off him, all right? He's having a little bad luck lately. Great! It's not every day I get to kick a man when he's down. <laughs> I bet the two of us together could throw him out the window. Hey, relax, Fido. I'm here to sympathize. I mean, I know Kelly inside out. A mere two years ago, she literally threw herself at me. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. Get off of him. Get off. I don't mean nothing, man. It's okay. I'm going to let this pass, because you're obviously insane with grief. But let me give you some free advice. Crawl back to her on your hands and knees and beg her for forgiveness. No way. You can't do better than Kelly Cleaver. I mean, she's got beauty, brains, inheritance. Women like that don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, yeah, well, I don't need her. The whole world's a candy store, and I got a pocket full of change. Listen, glamour boy, why don't you use that head of yours for more than decorative purposes? I mean, who knows? Even a dope like you can end up a partner in her father's law firm. But without Kelly Cleaver, you're headed for a life of check under the hood, mister. Hello? Hi. 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 Duffy? I owe you an apology. What are you trying to do? Set back the women's movement 20 years? Duffy? I realize now that you'd never like anyone else. Especially someone like that hussy Monica. Of course not. Like I said, you're my one and only doll face. I know. You've been such a wonderful boyfriend. I can understand why all the girls want to steal you away. Yeah, it's not my fault that girls think I'm adorable. It's just that sometimes I think about you with other girls, and it makes me so jealous. That's understandable. I mean, I know what I look like, and I know what it does to women. It's just something that I had to learn to live with. So, Kelly, if you're going to be my woman, you're just going to have to accept the fact that I'm a skirt magnet. <laughs> Duffy Guthrie, my friends were right all along. You are the most self-centered, stuck-up, stupid person I know. We're through. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't drop me, because I'm dropping you. Smooth, real smooth. Hey, if you're interested, I hear there's an opening with the Playboy advisor. <laughs> <laughs> what a maroon. I'm sorry, Ollie, I had to dump Kelly. She just pushed me too far. Hey, I understand. There's only so much a guy can take. So it's really over, huh? I wouldn't take her back for all the tea in Japan. <laughs> Look, I, I didn't want to say anything before, and I kind of Kelly's being my cousin and all. But, uh, well, there's been a lot of stuff going on around that you've been missing out on. Like what? Well, you know, baseball's been great. We've been turning the street signs around, and, uh... We found a cave. Is it dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. It's a cave. <laughs> there's something down there. Yeah? Yeah, we heard it chewing. I'll bet it's even got rabies. Cool. <laughs> He's not calling back. It's really over. You're better off. If I'm so mad at Duffy, how come I still want him to call? Probably because your emotion is getting in the way of your good judgment. I think we're going to have to look at this more logically. My psychiatrist says that when you're faced with a situation like this one, it's a good idea to make a list of the pros and the cons. Okay, let's make a list of Duffy's good points. Okay. He's really cute, and he's got nice hair. Good. What else? <laughs> exactly say that he's smart because actually he's kind of dumb <laughs> kind of and my dad hates him of course and he sure burps a lot and he never gave me anything except for this little stupid glass animal that he stole from his sister and this ring that turned my finger green these are supposed to be the good points remember <sighs> guess it sounds pretty bad huh it's not unusual Experts say that once the passion dies, couples often find the relationship has no substance. Really? Sure, I mean, look at my parents. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky it's over now, while you still have your youth. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. What you need now is a good dose of the mall. Shopping at a time like this? Well, sure. My mother says spending money can cure anything. <laughs> you know, Lindsay, you're a really good friend. Hey, men come and go, but we women have to stick together. Uh, Kelly, I was wondering, as long as Duffy's unattached, would you mind if I took him to a dance at the country club this weekend? <laughs> okay. 
Somebody should go up there and bring her down. Here you go, kids. Hey, hey Kevin, Kevin, over here, smile. Sweetie, look hey, at the camera. Get out of the way, will you? I know I like it. Kelly, honey, it was just a stupid little fight. Now all I have left of Duffy is this beautiful little glass puppy. Upset. Upset? I thought we meant something to each other. We even chewed each other's gum. Oh, honey, please don't tell me those kind of things. My life is totally ruined. How can you do this to me? Oh, my poor little baby pumpkin rabbit ears. <laughs> well, at least you're probably happy, huh, Dad? Well, yeah. Well, honey, that, that's not the point. If you're miserable, that kind of takes the joy out of it. Well, Monica can have the little doofus. And his greasy hair, and his smelly shirts, and the way he's always showing off that extra toe of his. I'm gonna miss Pinky. <laughs> uh, honey, I know you're hurting and angry, but you'll see. Very soon your feelings will change completely. The man of your dreams at 12 usually seems like an idiot when you're grown up. Hey, we met at 12. Yes, but that was different. A girl doesn't usually marry the first boy she falls in love with. Yeah, your mom was just lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who knows, you might wind up with Duffy again someday. I went out with a lot of boys before I married your father. Well, not a lot. A lot? Like who? We'll talk about it later. Kelly, the thing is, life goes on. Not for me. I'm never going out in public again. Oh, well, that wouldn't be fair to all those available boys out there in the world. It's not that easy, Dad. You guys have been married as long as I've known you. You don't know how hard it is being a single woman in today's world. Oh, Kelly, you are warm, intelligent, and beautiful. The boys are going to be lining up for you. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to break more hearts than the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> you know, I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Cubs are terrible. <laughs> Come on, why don't we go downstairs and look at Kevin's birthday party, huh? Okay. You know, I usually hate it when you guys give me one of your pep talks. But tonight it wasn't so bad. Oh. All right. Is that you ready for a big surprise? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. Who's that? Oh. That's your big friend. Oh. <laughs> what a That's surprise, so huh? nice. Idea. Cost me a hundred bucks. hundred dollars? Oh, cool. That's a great costume. Yeah. Yeah, those pirates. <laughs> yeah, I'd be scared. Uh, oh, look at my hair. Oh, it looks fine. Uh, well, that's from Mercedes. Oh, what a nice house. Yeah. Nice, thank you. I know that yeah. one. Oh, boy, open oh, that up. Hey, oh, oh, hey, look, there's my present. Oh, Where is that, anyway? Well, I don't know, it's in the closet. Mm. <laughs> and a trailer. Oh. Oh, 
let's see the part where Kevin sticks his face in the cake again. Just turn it off. Oh, Ned, I know it hurts now, but you have your whole life ahead of you. Yeah, Kelly, I mean, you know, it's not like you're such a Bowser that no guy's ever going to look at you again. Look, I appreciate you guys trying to cheer me up, but you're wasting your time. Oh, darling. <laughs> uh, Kelly, it's for you. Josh Singer. Josh Singer? <laughs> Come on. Oh, Josh, what a coincidence. I was just thinking about you. So who's this guy? Josh Singer, the idiot all the girls drool over. You know, personally, I don't see it. Shh, I'm talking to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mary Ellen, your spaghetti is delicious. Hmm. Wally, when are you going to send that woman to cooking school? <laughs> Wally, that's Josh. Who's Josh? Oh, it's uh, Kelly's new date. Oh, yeah? How many toes does this one have? <laughs> Time to go, Eddie. <laughs> Gee, I hate to gag and run. Yeah. Hey, what about dessert? Hello, Josh. Come on in. Hello. You must be Mrs. Cleaver. It's very nice to meet you. Well, it's nice to meet you. And this is Kelly's father. Hello, Mr. Cleaver. Uh, hi. I understand you're an attorney. That's what I want to be one day. Oh, hear that, Wally? A young man with goals. Yeah. Yes. My father says nobody gets paid more for doing less than a lawyer. <laughs> hi, Josh. Hi. You look great. Thanks. So do you. Wait till you get close enough to smell my cologne. <laughs> Well, it's 7.12, and we're exactly 60 minutes from the rink. I know. I walked it today after school. So we better get going if we're going to beat those weekend crowds. Oh, Josh, you think of everything. I try. Well, it's nice meeting you two. And if there's an emergency, here's the number where we'll be. Well, thank you. Have a nice time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> Isn't he adorable? <laughs> well, what do you think of that? Uh, he's okay if you like robots. Now, what's the problem? He's polite, well-groomed, he's obviously intelligent. Uh, it's just he's so, um, perfect. I mean, the kid's like a new pair of shoes. I like to take him outside and scruff him up on the sidewalk. <laughs> you miss Duffy, don't you? Well, no. Well, I, I mean, at least he had a, a personality, some style. <laughs> And some respect for the legal profession. You want me to call his mother up and see if he can come over and play? No, oh, I uh, have a playmate for this evening. <laughs> the rabbit goes out of the hole, around the tree, and back in the hole. Now there's a knot that won't come loose. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. I'm gonna go get in line at the refreshment stand while the popcorn's still warm. Good planning. I know. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Monica, uh, you remember my ex, don't you? <laughs> sure. Hi, Kelly. Didn't I see you come in with Josh at 728? Isn't that nice? I had no idea you could tell time. <laughs> I think I'll go pet on my nose. Excuse me, doll face. <laughs> so, uh, you're with Josh, eh? Yeah. He's got good penmanship. Real easy to cheat off of. Yeah, he's great. He smells good, too. She's perfection on wheels. Stop fooling yourself. You still love her, you jerk. Tell her. Tell her. I, uh, I was wondering, is that a new sweater? What a dumb thing to say. Yeah, I got it at the mall. It's nice. Look at him. He's so cute. So lost without you. This has all been a terrible mistake. You still love him. Tell him. Tell him. you do on your test Thursday? Ugh, go ahead. Make him feel stupid. Pretty good. Uh, I got a bloody nose in gym, so I didn't have to take it. Lucky break. I 
Are you crazy? Don't let her go. Say something. You're gonna lose her forever. Say something. Uh, isn't that Josh? Yeah, I better go. I hate to throw off his schedule. See you around, Duff. So long, Dollface. production.